five, four, three, two, and one. We are live. What is up, ATG fam? We are back. It is October 3rd. We're in spooky season. It is officially getting crazy right now. I just want to say, guys, I love you. Thank you for subscribing. All the love we've been we've been getting on Instagram, TikToks, um, Snapchat. It's just been nothing but love, guys. And I just want to uh, just pour my heart out and say how much I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, the last YouTube video I dropped, all the comments were amazing. And uh, I just want to say, guys, we're a family. Everyone who's watching this video, um, I I consider you guys one of my homies. So, girl, guy, whatever you are, you're one of us. You're ATG fam. So, now that I said we're in spooky season, we're in October 3rd. You know, the vibes are, the vibes are, the vibes are the vibes. You know what I mean? Um, I, I met this guest at, uh, it was called Jokes and Jams. It was a rap concert. And uh, this homie went on stage and absolutely killed it. Like, just murdered it. There was a bunch of artists that went on, but this guy stood out to me. And I couldn't help but just uh, step up and introduce myself and say what's up. And uh, I consider him a homie. Let's waste no further time than introducing Zilla Bones. Let's go, baby. You got the applause. <laughs> we got Zilla. ATG, what up? <laughs> What's up, bro? We got Zilla with an X. I love it. Let's go. Dude, there's so many bars. So let me just start. Like, So I listened to your album, Gothica. Yes, sir. It's on Spotify, all platforms. Um, I just want to say, dude, like, so let me put it this way. So I got off work today. I was deadbeat tired. I was like, oh my, like, I was just like, you know what I mean? Like after work day, put your album on Spotify. Dude, I'm not even kidding you. By the time I got home, you want to hit the gym? I was ready to, I started doing pushups, bro. <laughs> that That's album was lit, bro. <laughs> Gothica is so lit. And from everything, even from the album cover, the black ghost, like, it, it was total vibes, man. What was your headspace when you're making that album? I was in a, I just wanted to do something different from everything else that I did. Um, I started getting into a lot of like darker production. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people sending me beats. So that's when I start off with the track because I'll hear a beat first and then I get inspired by that. And then I start building. I never really go into like a lot of people will write first and then they'll find beats and they'll fit like the concept with it or yeah. the lyrics with it, whatever. But I started from, from scratch and, uh, just uh just the vibes I was getting from everybody. Like I had like fifteen different uh producers hit me up for stuff and they're all from different places from around the world and they're all cohesive. Everything sounded pretty much the same. Uh I got uh one track from DJ Jason, he's from here in Albuquerque. No his way. Fit. Yeah, his What song? Uh Felt. Felt? Felt was his. Yeah, it was like a grab me like an East Coast banger. That yeah. One, that one's a little bit different from the rest of the vibe on the album. Yeah. But it still fit, you know. I had Heck a yeah. had a home on there for sure, dude. That's dope. That's so dope. And honestly, shout out to you, bro. Like, you you carry this like you have this aura, bro. Even on social media in person, like you have that it factor, Thank and you know you, what bro. I mean. Like you have that star presence, and uh, you were confident, dude. Like you were so confident on stage. And I think like that night, I was kind of drinking a lot. I'll, I'll admit it. I was drinking. My homie AJ invited me to watch comedy. Uh, shout out AJ. Shout out to AJ DeLeon. He, he's a uh, upcoming go. I'm going to be yeah. on the, his podcast soon. Oh, shit. I didn't um, get on that shit too. I didn't know. Yeah, we'll get oh, you on. Shit. You know what? Get him on first, yeah, bro. We this need guy's... to both go. We need to, <laughs> we need to, <laughs> so anyways, I showed up. I had a couple of drinks and you went on and I like, I just went up to you, bro. And I was like, bro, I was like, you sound so sick. I was like. I was like, one of my favorite artists is Schoolboy Q. I was like, you kind of give me that vibe a little bit. And you were just like, thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I get that a lot. I always get a Schoolboy Q comparison. Well, it's like headbanger and, rap. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, it's yeah. like, there's vibey rap. There's, you know, there's like Nas rap. Like, your rap is like, let's go. Yeah. It's, you know? It's a little bit, it's a little one, bit different. You two. know, I, I kind of take a, just from everybody that I grew up listening to. And, yeah. You know, just took little pieces of that and I just, just molded my own sound and, I even like so I've been rapping like I want to say like 15 years, but I've been like really like doing the recording process and learning how to go and how to find music and do it right. Probably like the past like five years, if that. That's sick, bro. So um, all how, those. So how old were you when you first started like getting into it? Like, 
What, what uh, inspired you to just be like, you know what? I want to do this. Uh, back back in the day, man, it was like middle school. One of my friends had wrote a rap over like a beat. It was like an Eminem song or something. I, I forgot what it was, but I was like, man, I'm gonna try that. And like, it was it was horrible, but like, it sounded <laughs> sonically good at the time. You know, yeah. like everything. I hit my my bars before I even knew what a bar was. Yeah, you know? it was just like because you just know, like yeah, in your head. Yeah, and um, just from there, like I just. I just, uh, I'm just an artist at heart. I mm. like to paint, draw. I've always been doing that since I was little, and art's just, uh, just a part of me. So rap just, it came easy. Whenever I do a song, it's like building a canvas, and yeah. somebody you know, look, look what I painted. It's, it's the same thing for me. Same type of thrill and enjoyment I get out of it. That's so cool, bro. Yeah, people don't realize that. Like art, everyone thinks art like oh, painting, oh, like art is you can experience art through your ears yeah you know what i mean like we have so many senses in our body like there's so many ways that you can express yourself oh yeah a, you know a, a gardener is an artist yeah you know it's yeah, like you said people just they're boxed in for what art can be you know until you're an artist and you really understand like the aspects of everything and just being a creative in general yeah. i think once you're creative you know everything is good to you everything's beautiful dude seriously <laughs> and that's honestly like why why i like vibe with you so much is because like being an artist and being expressive and being your own self and owning it like that truly is against the grain you know what i mean like oh, yeah. you're choosing to be different than everyone else yeah. like you're owning that what i was born with what i have in my heart is is different and i want to stand out you know yeah it's just just me being me, bro. But before I kick these off, we got to hit them with the laser one time. Oh, hold bro. up, bro. Yeah, Let me get them on. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. <laughs> Damn, dude. On it. Hold on. Let me check on the cat. Oh, we cracked the phone, dude. Just kidding. <laughs> this one's got some sick shades on, though, for real. Thank you, bro. Those now, are the now I can see. Damn. <laughs> What's up, bro? I was like, bro, you're just gonna be blind for like one minute. Like, don't worry. Yeah, I'm. I'm here now. <laughs> Good thing it's a podcast, bro. Just t- keep talking. <laughs> uh, we were Daft Punk for a little bit. We were, dude. Shout out to Daft Punk, by yeah. the way. Yeah, for real. I, I'm like wanting to go to a concert. Hopefully, they'll reunite one of these days. Oh, yeah. Which helmet do you like better, the silver one or the gold one? I'm. I'm a gold guy. I just like gold. But that gold I mean, one goes they're hard. They're both dope. They are. I, mean, I don't even know what. Which one is doing other part of the song? But they <laughs> both don't, they, they make it's it good happen, marketing. You know? It's good branding. Oh yeah, they were like the first to do that. The whole um, mysterious ghost artist. Mysterious it was like them and gorillas. Song. Yeah, gorillas is dope too. Yeah, I always liked that as a kid, bro. Like the mysterious, like like I remember, like because you know, dude, growing up, like in the early two thousands, MTV was always on, um, and they would just be playing music videos nonstop, like whatever genre. And, like, you know, every single song back in the day was just, like, they all kind of looked the same, Hot Chicks, whatever. And then you would see, like, a Gorillaz music video, and it would just be, like, a cartoon episode. But they were, like, singing the song. Yeah. And I was just, like, that is crazy. Who are they? Like, you know what I mean? Like, as a little kid, that, like, was unheard of. I don't I don't even think there's another band that does that. That had the whole run as just the cartoons. Like, yeah. You know? There hasn't now, been. Now they perform live. Like Yeah. Those, I mean. But before, th- even the concerts were just, like, the whole thing was a screen. Yeah. So it's crazy. I don't I don't know of any other artists that do that now. Dude, some people should. And they it's should. cool. It's actually a smart move because like you're still hidden from the public. So you could be creative, do whatever you want, mm-hmm. and then you just go live your normal life. Yeah. I got ten shows going on at once. Yeah. It's all pre recorded. Yeah, seriously, right? <laughs> hey, we're we're live in yeah, every state. No, yeah, yeah, you're in Waikiki chilling there. <laughs> You're making money everywhere at once, man. That's the lick right now. I'm surprised. with AI. It's uh, gonna happen, dude. AI is it's gonna crazy. be Kanye watch, dude. It's I heard Kanye. that the stocks, like uh, these guys at my work, are like obsessed with stocks. They like, I kind of sometimes piggyback what they do, mm-hmm. just cause like they're they're all about it. So I'm like, I know trust them, and they're like, dude, the AI stocks are like, the the some of them bought into some AI. So I guess some of the AI stocks are really low right now which is the best time to buy in because the most of the stocks go up way high and then they go down way low. So when they go at the bottom, that's when you want to buy in and then they're going to just skyrocket back up. And that's when all your money just that's smart, bro. If you got friends in stock, make them your best friends. You know, <laughs> you might, you might be doing that one day. I just know that. dude. I don't imagine like, that just doing off stocks dude. or like betting or shit like that. How people, they live their life, go on vacation. They're doing something. Every dude, day. it's insane. Like, God, it's, Podcast not, shit, you know? Just yeah. Give me you, you soon, bro. 
<laughs> we'll you see, bro. This, bro. You'll, you'll be doing it. Hey, dude, <laughs> I do this for the love. I'm not making no money. At the time, I was doing a lot of merch when I first started. That's like when that's like when you sell merch and stuff like that. That's like when you can make some money. But like as far as YouTube ad revenue, all that, like I'm just chilling, bro. Like to me, like doing the podcast is like I'm connected with, with the people around me, yeah. like the culture. Like I have so many different people, artists, musicians, fighters. So like it's cool because like, dude, why not make friends with the state in the in the city that you're in? You know, like there's so many dope people around. Yeah, but that that's why you're gonna make it because you're genuine, bro. You know, and that's what it's about. That's why people connect. You know, and that's uh, how they become a fan, a subscriber, and stuff. You know, because yeah. they they really rock with you. So. Heck yeah, man! Thank you, I appreciate nah, it. Nah, I appreciate you, bro. What does your shirt say, by the way? I was actually saying. Uh, Billionaire Brains Club. It's um, it's like a uh, like a play on Billionaire Boys Club shirt. Oh, the okay. Brand. Yeah. Yeah, this one's different. It's got like the. Instead of the spaceman, it's like an Albert Einstein and on the back or what? Yeah, it's dope. that's sick, it's, dude. It's a double up brand. I think it's called um, Higher Knowledge. I think that's the name of the the company, the brand it. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Dude, that's sick, dude. There's so many actually like local artists like like that do clothing and stuff here that are like mm. they got potential, bro. Oh yeah, bro. It's I like, mean, they're already the killing it locally. Bro. Creatives yeah it's like people that aren't afraid to dude and it's so hard though like it sounds easy it's like dude just be yourself like just be and like we're all weird at heart like we're all super weird at the yeah. core like but there comes a certain point in your life when you're like what's this life worth living for like am i just meant to just like go cash a paycheck and go home and just like get through it like at the end of your life don't you want to like take risks like taking risks right. like that thrill of failing like dude if i fail right now like that clutch <laughs> what did it been for <laughs> yeah exactly but like you need that legacy but like you need think, that legacy exactly though. even if it's little like you said bro like if you want to be a farmer like you know what i'm gonna invest all the money i have in this tractor that has all these things mm -hmm. like i don't know what's gonna happen but like i think this is my passion dude stuff works out bro yep. but it all comes with like what you like really are passionate about like you said, like you brought up like being a farmer earlier, like everyone's born with a different passion, in my opinion. Like your passion is music. Your passion is, is, you know, create, uh, uh, creating, you know, poetic verses, doing all this stuff. And then some people's passion is just like, like you said, bro, like just driving, driving a tractor on a field. Like that's, they, that's their purpose. Yeah. And like, I feel like oftentimes in society, like we like downplay like some of those normal jobs. But, like, people don't realize, like, that's what makes this country. That's what gives us the backbone that we have. Yeah. If everyone's you a YouTuber, a bro, guy. no one's going to yeah. eat. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like, if you everyone's, like, YouTubing, podcasting like I am, bro, yep. we're all going to be. You know. <laughs> Same thing with rappers, bro. <laughs> everyone can rap now, which is cool. Like, I'm glad everyone's doing what they want, you know. But as long as you're doing it for the right reasons and you, you're a... Uh, no, I'm not going to say in the way because, you know what I mean? It, yeah. It's every, there's so much room for everybody. You know, anyone sure. can do anything. And get uh, get your, your feelings out, your thoughts or your visions, whatever you see. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, paint, paint some shit. Go draw some shit. Go make a song. Like, <coughs> I, got, I got friends that, um, people I know that make music and they don't even, like, put it out. They just like to just go to studios. Just sit on it and get it off rap. their chest. Yeah. You know, people like to sing, but they never recorded a song. But Yeah. Is whatever makes them happy you know if yeah. you gotta be that tractor driver and that that's what helps you at the end of the day shit, do it heck yeah bro <laughs> you know and i will right. dude i will confess like i've driven tractors my dad's like a farmer there is like it's like so relaxing bro like when I you're bet. making your lines on the field you see it all messy you're cutting like there's like something to it so you know what i mean there's there's thrill in everything in life for real yeah for sure and if you don't like it, you shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> exactly. Forcing yourself to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I like how everyone now is like this get rich quick like mentality. Like, oh, if you don't get a million views off your first thing, then just give up. Like, dude, it, if you're just doing it for that, then you're just set to fail. Yeah. And then I've, I've said this on the pod, but like, let's say you do make it doing something that you're not really passionate about. You have to follow through with that your whole career. Yeah, you're and you're stuck it. making songs like, oh, well, I'm getting the views, I guess. And you just hate it, you know? It ain't genuine. It ain't know? genuine. And like you'll you'll stop it at some point. You know? Yeah. I don't think anyone could go on doing something that they really hate. Damn. You know. But so I got a question, bro. So how did you come up with the name Zilla Bones, bro? 
Because it's like, when I think of Zilla, I think of like Godzilla. I know you have some <laughs> verses that reference like Godzilla. Yeah. But it's Zilla with an X. Yeah. And because it's, you know, Zilla Bones. Um. Yo, I got to check on our intern, bro, our production over there. <laughs> he's doing a good job, though. <laughs> yeah, he's paying more. I know. We'll see what's up. <laughs> hey, bro, inflation, bro. We'll yeah. see. Hey. Depends on who gets elected. High <laughs> wages, damn. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> uh, just back whenever I started rapping, uh, like, a lot of people, like, I took it a little bit more serious than a lot of other people did. So, around the city, if I meet new people and, like, parties and shit, people rapping, like, I was like, damn, you, you're dope, bro. You're a monster, bro. Like, you, you, you know, you're going to. You keep doing it, and it'll keep going. You're going to go somewhere. Yeah. And uh, I always like Godzilla movies. Heck, um, yeah. I'm not, like, I'm a fan, but I'm, like, the hugest fan, you know. But um, I just took just the just the monster Zilla part aspect of it. Yeah. And, uh, I just, just came up with Zilla Bones, bro. That's sick, I'm the, dude. I'm the missing member of Bone Thugs and Harmony, bro. <laughs> hey, let's just go, kidding. That's what everybody bro. tells me. You and really? Bone Thugs? Like, yeah, because the Bones, like, Busy Bone, Lazy Bones, <laughs> Zilla Bones. I showed someone at work today because I was like, I was looking up some of your stuff. And they're like, yo, that looks just like Paul Wall. They're all that Paul Wall. <laughs> That's funny. I, get, I used to get Mac Miller all the time. Mac? I don't need too yeah. much more, but when I was younger, yeah. That's sick, I dude. Mac. Oh, shit, there you go right there. Yeah, dude, I love Mac. Mac's one of my favorite artists. Uh, if you look around the room, bro, like all my top five artists somewhere here. We got Kanye, Cuddy, Mac, uh, oh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. There's us right there, bro. See? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Daft Punk. Yeah, exactly, dude. Yeah, we got Daft Punk. Yeah, and then we got Gorillaz right under it. Damn, Damn, I, I painted that, that one. That's I painted crazy. that one during uh, COVID. That's sick. Yeah. The Blake's one goes hard up there. You can't see it on camera, but. Which one is it? Blake's one. Oh, yeah, Blake's. That's crazy. So there's like, this local the artist. His name's Cosmic Desert. Shout out to Cosmic Desert. He does like a. He'll get like pop culture things, and then he'll add like a New Mexico twist mm. to it. So like that one is like uh, meant to be uh, Planet of the Apes. Yeah. And then he's got the. The Lauderburger sign. Yeah, that goes tough. Shout out to Cosmic Desert, by the way. I want to get you on the pod. Uh, Cosmic days. Desert. Good bro, the pull the mic this way and then turn it this way a little bit. There, Cherry. You good? It's kind of weird. These mics are, I don't know, they're like super good. But if you're like on the side, it's like you have to be, it's so weird. Yeah, be centered. Yo, pretty soon though, I'm going to get two more mics. We're going to be dropping like a quad pod. It's going to get crazy. It's going to get spooky. <laughs> Dude, I like the ghost theme though, bro. The black ghost theme for Gothica. Thank you, bro. Yeah, that was I was just trying to uh stick with something like that with the whole like spooky dark, not necessarily like Halloween theme cuz it's not like a Halloween album, yeah. but it definitely has a vibe. So, it does, bro. Uh, throw it on this whole season and then the season after that and then next summer and just you can just keep throwing it on till yeah. the shit comes out. Heck yeah, but, dude. Yeah, uh, a lot of people were chipping on that. They didn't really know what it was for or like anything, but it's like make it what you want. Yeah. Just listen to it, and you come up with yeah, your own. Yeah, exactly. Thing. People tell me they'll hear the songs like, "Damn, that's exactly what that cover sounds like." Yeah, like, you know. And I've heard that before, but I was like, "Man, like I kind of went into uh, the whole theme with that." You know, I just wanted it all to tie in. But uh, yeah, this next one's gonna be crazy though. You've we'll been in the studio lately, or what? Yeah, always working. Real quick, always I want to know, like, so who, who, so, cause that the the album cover is dope. Where, who did that for you? Your boy. No way. I did that. Yeah. Are you I, serious? I do, yeah, I do all my art. I do a lot of uh, art for other artists too. That's got, sick, dude. Because you know, that that, that album more. cover is dope. Thank and you. I just want to say, like, the way that you do album rollouts and stuff, like your videos of choice on Instagram, they're super cool, bro. Mm-hmm. Like they're different. It's like Thank it you, puts bro. you. And it's, like, not just one theme. It's, like, we're going to give you multiple shots of, like, what I'm feeling. This is this song. Yeah. You know what I mean? The vampire, like, all that stuff. Yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy. And that's that's the fun thing about it is building that canvas. You know, yeah. the song is just one of the lines. You're giving it, it more you layers. Know? Yeah, all the layers. You know, everything you can do with it. I'm. That's where I get the, the thrill of it, you know, is yeah. doing that type of fun stuff and thinking out the box and doing stuff different. You know, everyone's kind of doing the same thing now. Um, I mean... It's hard whenever a lot of people go to the same person for the same shit. Yeah. The standard don't change. Right, but right. Yeah, that's why I do all my own stuff. But that's uh, sick. Dude. I'm always open to working with other artists, like on um, like covers and stuff like that, too. That's sick. But yeah, I like the creative control. Dude, that's so cool. <laughs> that's kind of how I am with the pod. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of other podcasters depend on a producer. They depend on this editor. They need, and, like, I don't know. I don't like to, like, put pressure on other people too much. 
maybe, you know, once I get to a certain point, it would be dope. Mm -hmm. But like, I like to just have full creative control. I'm going to post what I want. My little brother's a graphic art designer. Like I give him ideas and, you know, he helps me out. And then just doing the pod too, you know, it's, it's more simple than, it, than it sounds. You know what I mean? It's really not that much. There's not that much to it. Like, like <laughs> it took us like, what, like 30 seconds to set up. We just run it. Yeah. <laughs> You're on it, bro. Yeah. But I don't know. Like you said, bro, full creative control is so important, especially as an independent artist. Um, most of the artists that we like the most now are like independent. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everybody. And that's probably why they're so good is because they can do exactly what they want. You don't have this guy saying, ah, oh, I think you should do this, bro. Yeah. Like, I think uh, this is trending on TikTok. You should try this new thing or it's like when you cater to the masses too much, you lose who you are inside. Mm -hmm. So you're giving all your energy away and you don't even realize it. Yeah. It's just like, it's just the, the people that power, you know? Yeah. They're not, they're not the creatives, you know, they have a high spot at the label and they could run the plays and say, do what they want to do and what they think will work off statistics. Yeah. But in the end, like, like back to the genuine thing, bro, as long as it's, it's real and it's from you and like you know people can see that yeah that's when they're going to connect with it exactly then, i mean the labels know what they're doing they're not stupid they've been doing it forever but i mean you got dudes that haven't been listening to hip-hop for like 10 years right running shit you know and it's it's just it's crazy and all they see is numbers too yeah it's so a like number game and then they inflate it and then they make you think that it's a lot bigger than it is like yeah it's, it's crazy it's getting exposed now. Yeah, know? it is, dude. With Diddy it's now, good. who knows what's going to happen. Oh. <laughs> that man. There's going to be a lot of people exposed, supposedly. <laughs> they said there's going to be all kinds of names. There's always been stories about that, dude. I mean, dude, I... Like, now they're coming out. Dude, I've been all into, like... I've been a conspiracy nerd since I was, like, 17, like, in 2011. Like, all about the Luma, everything. Like, I was just... It was, like, fun to me because it was, like, real life. You know what I mean? And you would just watch stuff and symbolism and all this. And it, like, so, like, now that this is all coming out, like, does not surprise me at all. Yep. You know what I mean? It's, like, they of course. Crazy. And, like, Hollywood, Hollywood, the music industry, what better place to control people because they handpick whoever they want. Mm -hmm. It's not a job based on, like, oh, you do numbers the best or, oh, you're the best this. It's, like, oh, we're just going to give you a chance. Let's just skip you to the front of all these people. You know, just do this one thing for us. And then they blackmail. You know what I mean? The industry like it's that, Yeah, it's exactly what it is. Yep. So we'll see, bro. I My, my like, conspiracy, bro, because, you know, how they say they have, like, supposedly they have a name that's bigger than Diddy that's on a video that's, like, yeah. on tape doing some weird stuff. I think it's Jay-Z. Everybody's the same. So I think Jay-Z is a part of it, but I think Jay-Z is just so far above Diddy right now. Yeah. Like, I think Jay-Z's, like, a ringleader. Like, he, no one's going to touch him. He's, like, <laughs> Obama way up there. Like, he's that high. You can get took down, too, bro. What's I think. Diddy's going to make a crumble watch. So, they said that it's an artist bigger than Jay-Z or bigger than Diddy. I think it's, like, Kevin Hart or, like, uh, maybe Usher, Bieber. You think they're bigger than Diddy? Kevin Hart? Dude, Kevin and Hart. Did you say Justin Bieber? Dude, Diddy, <laughs> like, no one's, like, said the name Diddy in forever. Like, other than Ciroc, what songs has he put out? Like, Diddy? That, yeah. There's a lot of music out. It's back, stuff. back in the day, oh, though. Yeah, like, there hasn't day. been nothing in more than 10 years. Like, he's oh, kind of yeah. just writing uh, off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't know, dude. I Being think crazy out there. This is just, <laughs> if this comes out, so if I'm right, you guys better. And I'm just going <laughs> to throw some names out. Kevin Hart, obviously Usher. Meek Mill is, like, a hand given. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh uh he's definitely Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm just gonna throw a crazy Leo? one out there. <laughs> oh man. You got Leo I'm just there? trying to think of artists bigger than Diddy. Because Diddy's big. Like you can't really like that's a big star. So like yeah. maybe J Lo? A bigger than him would even be Dre, but I don't think Dr. Dre was those crazy part. Yeah. I think it was I think it was a lot more actors and actresses than people like bigger like Bigger than Diddy in the music world, there's not yeah. too many. But actors and stuff like that, yeah, yeah. sure. Oh, dude, sure. Imagine you just said Diddy Leo party, take a sip there. of a drink, all of a sudden you wake up, bro. They what? show you a video the next day. What's that? What's that movie where Diddy's crazy? Ass? It's oh, the it's Johnny like Hill. a what get him to the Greek. Yeah, get him to the Greek. That was really him. That's what dude, saying. That was really. But like, isn't that like almost like they almost did it on purpose? Like, we, yeah, we're like just gonna throw it in your face. Yeah. Like everyone in the end, it's like an inside joke to the industry. Yeah. Like, oh, that's what Diddy really does. Like, that's Crazy. I own ten kookaroos. I <laughs> How many kookaroos you own? 
<laughs> Dude, that was funny. No, that was him. That was him, bro. Fuzzy wall and all, bro. That's crazy. Jesus, bro. Damn, Diddy. Yo, Diddy shout out to talk. Diddy. You're probably going to be Epstein here in a couple weeks, oh, but man. it's all good. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, damn. Where's the clap at? Hey, hold Just up. <laughs> Hey, but uh, just don't drop the soap. Whoa. <laughs> actually, he probably wants to drop the soap, actually. Oh, now that man. I'm thinking about it. I seen uh, <laughs> Oh, man. I seen a video the other day. Somebody was like, uh, they made a video like if they were the inmate inside of the cell. And oh, with Diddy? Yeah, with Diddy. It's like when you're locked up with Diddy and <laughs> they had a video of like, it, it was like him in the background, but it was Diddy doing the pounding. And it was like, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no, Diddy. <laughs> He's running it in there, too. It's, just, oh my it's God, crazy, that's bro. funny, dude. Him and R. Kelly, man. Dude, I the saw, I saw one. Dude, that, that's why I've like been so into this Diddy stuff because it's so funny. Like all the memes, everything is just so funny, especially with the baby oil thing. Yeah. It's crazy. But uh, I saw a meme the other day or a reel, I guess, a video, TikTok, whatever. And it was like, you know how you get sleep paralysis? Mm. Like, you know how when you get sleep paralysis and you're, like, awake but you can't move? It's, like, when you get sleep paralysis and you see Diddy. And, he, and the homeboy's, like, just, like, frozen up and Diddy, the Diddy song's playing. And he's, like, <laughs> he's, like, getting closer to him and he's, like, <laughs> you, like, can't move. Oh, <laughs> it's no. so funny, bro. <laughs> Dude, the internet is undefeated. Like, there, someone it's crazy. has thought of it's everything. It's forever, too. It's forever, bro. You seen that uh, the Nickelodeon clip they put out the other day? No, uh-uh. like two thousand like four something. No, oh you got to. Oh, gotta is it the one it where out. the kids looking at the Diddy screen and it's like it's on a, a projector? No, he opens his window and Diddy's in the window. Is like, that real? I thought yeah, that was no, fake. That's real. And Diddy. he's like, no, yeah. he's like freaking out. Back in the day, yeah, all that used to have all kinds of like artists and uh, different shit going. That was like their later years because I mean, when I was a kid, it was a different cast. I don't yeah, that. but that clip. Yeah, that that's a whole. I didn't grill. know that was real, dude. My my no. thoughts are like, okay, so you just brought up that clip that was what, like in the early two thousands. Yeah, it was, it was probably a little bit later, like two thousand like nine, seven, nine 10. or something. Yeah, like mid. So like, dude, this guy's been doing this stuff for forever. Yeah, but like, it's why like now? My my question is like, why now? You know what I mean? Like, who just decided like that payday? Do you think they just Everybody's said one person or what if the people the above down? are just like, you know what? Diddy's getting his, his head's too big. We just need to clip him. Yeah, maybe. Like maybe, maybe he just he got to too somebody. power, power hungry. He did something wrong. Maybe he tried person. to blackmail the wrong person. They're like, dude, you know who that is? And he's like, well, I'm the biggest guy ever. What's I up? I got 10 cuckoos, motherfucker. <laughs> I got meek meal <laughs> on yeah, call. You see this cage? <laughs> Guess who's in it? <laughs> hey, Bieber. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bro. <laughs> That's sad, actually. So Shout out to Beaver, bro. If you're a victim, dude, I feel bad for you. Sorry. <laughs> Had to, bro. That was one, a random one. One, two, Zilla's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. Five, six, Get your to six, fix. Seven, oh. eight. I forgot that I one. said one, one two, two coming four. for you. Three, four, dude. Hey, there's a song on your album that uh, says something, Josh. You're like, yo, Josh is crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people like the line. My, that's like my wife's favorite line is on it? the album. Yeah, she's like, oh, my God. Like, that was crazy. Who's they Josh, bro? That. Josh, that's my real name. Oh, no Josh, way. Yeah. Just figured it out real time uh, on ATG. Yeah. That's yeah, because you were bro. like, yo, Josh. is. <laughs> I was like, what the? F-? What did I say? Uh, you heard the rumors about Zilla, but don't know how crazy Josh is. Yeah. yeah. I, I I was that stood out to me. I was like, that's sick. Yeah, dude. So you said you've been in the studio. You've been cooking. What are you thinking, bro? You've been. Are you working on another album? You kind of just playing around right now. I got I got a bunch of singles I'm working on right now that I'm gonna probably form into an album. Just trying to pick like the top two, um, put them out, work on them, and then drop a whole project. Or um, I don't know if I end up feeling like one day I just want to drop them all. You know, in a month I might just drop them all and that's start fresh. You know. Uh, that's the convenience of just having your own studio set up at your crib. You know, yeah. you can pop in and out and do whatever, you know. Uh, I used to go to a lot of, like, studios around town and shit. And, uh, like, I would get good music back. And it would, like, it would be sounding good. But it wasn't how I envisioned it. So mm. whenever I started doing it myself, like, when i am got a song going in my head, like, I have a perfect envision how it is. And um, 
just like being around studio, just learning how to do stuff and yeah. that type of stuff. Um, whenever I started doing it myself and it started coming out like exactly That's how I envisioned sick. it, I was like, yeah, this shit's hitting. Because for years I thought it was me. Mm -hmm. I thought it was like, you know, but it's hard for, uh, I mean, it's, it's Dude, not group hard. projects suck. Yeah. I'll just say that. Yeah, group, yeah, group like you, it's so hard to get everyone, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, oh, and yeah, there's so always on the one person page. who cares more than the other. Like it's just there's mm -hmm. so many things, like yeah. too many heads to the dragon. Yeah, people... Unless you have something solid that they really believe in right, and right. they're down to do it, yeah. But people live their lives, you know, and yeah. I, I can't hate on nobody for that. Yeah, and everyone's um, in a different phase in life, you know. Mm -hmm. You might be going through some dark stuff, and that's the theme, and you want to set the tone, and someone else is like, well, let's give it like a upper drum beat, or let's, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like there, and then all of a sudden it flows back around, and you're like, I don't know, dude. Yeah. It was. It was more of like. Um, I felt like I was pressed for time. You yeah. Know, whenever I'm there, you book your time. You know, you go in and you knock it out. It's like, too, it's like okay, we got to do this. And this. it's like, dude, like taking a test and the time's coming out. And yeah. you're just like, you end up missing half the questions because yeah. you're thinking about it too much. Yep. And then I spent this money and all this couple hours in there for something I ain't even going to put out. Like, I had so much music that it's never going to see the light of day just because... Uh, it's always about your best foot forward. Yeah. So, you know, like I'll always try to make my next track top the last track I did. And like, in my opinion, it, it feels like every song is, you know, and from the reaction I get from people, they've been telling me the same thing. So yeah. I think I'm doing something right. With That's that. sick, so, dude. That's yeah. cool that you invested in yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Think of all this money that you drop in studio sessions. If you just save up that much, build your own studio. Mm -hmm. You could just go, like you said, you could just go in there whenever you want. Yeah, it's easy. I'll pop in there with my socks and boxers, and <laughs> I'll be mixing. And, Heck and yeah, bro. Night work now when I'm listening to Gothka, uh, I'm going to picture you in your short there. Make <laughs> them back now. <laughs> Dude, that's definitely what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Make them yeah, back. Bro, yeah. That one was, that that one was, was crazy. Hard. Yeah, that was so hard. that was the one where I was like, dude, this is like Schoolboy Q vibes. Because like, mm -hmm. it's like when Schoolboy Q raps, because I've been to a couple of his shows, it's like headbanger rap. Like you're just pumped. And like you brought that energy on that song, it's insane. Mm -hmm. That energy, that's that's what I try to bring on every song is um, a cohesive, a cohesive story. Well, not a story, but just a cohesiveness along with that energy. Uh, throw some bump in there, some flow. Just make make that shit sound good, bro. Because a lot of the music now, like it's offbeat. Mm -hmm. It don't sound good. People are just saying whatever. Yeah, it's you know the production is so important. Crazy. It is, bro. It a beat selection is, and just like you can really tell who enjoys doing it, and right? Does right. It just because they they're trying to benefit, yeah. From whatever they got going on. Just That's like, sick. So, how is it like doing live shows and stuff, bro? Like, do you reach out to vendors and stuff, or do um, you kind of just like have do people reach out to you? Because like you did the jokes and jams. Are you more kind of just like behind the scenes in the studio right now? It uh. It kind of it it goes both ways. Like I'm always reaching out for shows. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm always trying to get on that stage. But um, uh, I had did a previous show with Six, uh, shot to Six and Reloaded. Um, they had threw me on the uh on the Nem show. You know who Nems is? Yeah. Uh, when Nems came, I opened for them. That's sick. Oh, for him, and uh, uh, from there we just um. Uh, we just built a good relationship. That's cool. Like man. you know, they're good people to work for, bro. They they always bring a crowd. They always have a good show. The lineups are always with the best people, you know, and they're they're fun. Like I could imagine trying to go to a show that I wasn't vibing out or I didn't have fun doing, you know. Right. When I got on that stage, it'd be kind of awkward. But um, and dude, there's so many shows too that you go to where it's like, or so many like just from my experience, I've gone to shows, like like we we're just talking about Schoolboy Q. Like I've gone to a Schoolboy Q concert. And Isaiah Rashad, his opener, ended up being my favorite act of the night. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, you don't know what you're going to experience when you go to these live shows. The opener might change your life. Yeah. That's what happened at a NEM show. Like, uh, <laughs> the uh, the vibes were kind of, it was it was kind of different. Um, have you been to Cake? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was, we, we did the whole thing in the VIP section upstairs. So, it was a lot more intimate. Um but it was cool. There was just a lot of openers, yeah, yeah. which isn't a bad thing. You know, everybody was super dope. Yeah. But whenever I got up, I made it a point to have everyone come up to the front and, you know, be right there and experience right. it. And I just went crazy. And a lot of people said that that was my show. That's you know, sick. Shout out to Nems. No disrespect to Nems, but like, man, that was, you were the headliner. That Heck, was yeah. your shit that night. And dude, that's, that's, no, that's all part about. of the culture. It's like that, that competitiveness, mm -hmm. that, that friendship, that competitiveness, like, 
in even whenever you're higher up, like you want to bring in new artists that will challenge you, that will keep you on your toes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that keeps it, that pushes the culture. Yeah. That, that, uh, I, I don't see it as really competition. I just see it as like just inspiration. inspiration. I take inspiration from everyone, you know? That's and it's good. like, it's, if you don't got no motion or you don't got nothing going on and like you're, you're lazy about your stuff or you're just procrastinating. You see everybody else doing this and that. Like, it's going to be hard for you to follow in, like, f and fuck with them and help them up. Yeah, that's true. You know what true. I mean? So, um, I just try to keep my own motion going and inspire myself as much and let these new guys inspire me, too. You that's know? sick. That's what it's all about. You know, for me, it's inspiration. That's it's just the art. Heck, yeah. You know what I mean? No, that's <laughs> a good way to look at it. Like, I've been um, talking about this with my friend because, like, I was telling her, like, you know, I, some, some of my biggest inspirations that I draw from are, like, from kids you know how creative and free they are they're not corrupted by the world like they're just fully like they're still their genuine selves you know what i mean yeah. and like so part of me wants to like keep that keep that energy you know like not let the world phase who i am at the core yeah. like i'm just gonna I, I i honestly still want to be like a kid at heart you know always i'll always be a kid at heart bro. yeah like <laughs> oh boy it was just the disneyland last week bro yeah, bro like <laughs> like i was telling him like i was there with my family i never went when i was a kid so i'm pushing the kids out the way i'm, like, <laughs> I'm running to the front of the line you know? yo we're gonna get uh, on that star wars ride yeah uh, that ass. yeah i took my i took my son he had just turned three and he barely hit the mark to oh, go ride dude. it and we were in line for probably like about like 45 minutes Tell me why we get in this, like, have you, you've been there before, right? You know, like the pod ride? Yeah, yeah. Where you, they shut the door? Yeah. Tell me why we get in there. And is it the one with the free rolling No, nah, no, nah, that's, uh, that's the Kylo Ren one. This is the other one where you're in the, the pod. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, where you see the screen. Yeah. And you're, like, getting hit. Mm -hmm. you're, like, you're the gunner. You're the, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, tell me why we get in there. Once they shut the door, he's like, I need to go potty, oh, Dad. Oh, And no. the whole ride, he's screaming, I need to pee. And where there were like four random people and they were enjoying the ride they're like you know but fuck them though but <laughs> yeah my little man had to he had to pee once he shut and then once the ride stopped he just stared at me he's like i went pee dad and oh, i picked him up and there's just a dude. hell of a puddle on the chair so poor uh, dude. i hope that they go through and sanitize that shit and they're disney right, stays dude. on top of their yeah they do sure. they probably replace the whole thing if not somebody but oh someone spilled their water in here <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> you know, dude that's, there's gotta be some pc that's the most Disney. dad story <laughs> bro i've heard in a minute it's like that's that's it dude for his first for his first we've ride been waiting too. forever to get on this ride we finally get on the ride <laughs> that happens yeah <laughs> i got a party like, and he was so scared the whole ride He's yeah screaming. well dude He's that would <laughs> probably make you want to pee more dude getting shot at you're all <laughs> it's his first ride ever <laughs> ever <laughs> that's star wars yeah, dude, dude and that one gets you sick dude that yeah. one because you got hit uh -huh. and you're like you're, whatever your job is yeah. i sucked at my job dude i got so motion sickness <laughs> like the screen like threw me off yeah uh, i get bad where to go sometimes but yeah. it's, luckily they didn't really mess with me too bad but the other star wars one does the one by the that one's crazy the tomorrowland or whatever yeah, yeah. it's called that shit messes me up yeah it's it's a trip because you're like spinning the whole time yeah yeah, look. Well, not luckily, but like I wrote it. I went with my family last year, and my mom was like all sick, like with her head down, like all nervous. So it kind of took my mind off of me getting kind of motion sickness. Mm. So I was like, "All right, <laughs> I'm glad it's you, not me." Because uh, I'm gonna put my pity on you. Too. <laughs> yeah, I'm all. Hey, wow, can't even handle this ride. Yeah, get your head up. <laughs> get your head up, dude. Disneyland is actually pretty dope. The lines and stuff. Yeah, it's like it's cool. Once you ride the ride, you're like, that was sick. You know, yeah, it's just the family time for me, you know, getting out and getting like I said, I never went when I was a kid. So I've been I, uh, I, you got went, a to, I went kids? to I went to Epcot when I was like 11. What's that in Florida? or where? Yeah, in Florida. Yeah, I went there when I was like 11 with my grandpa. That's he, he lives in Tampa. So oh, uh, I visited out there, been there once. But yeah, like I never got to do the Disneyland or like the parks growing up. Like I had friends that would go every year. So now I take my kids every year. That's cool, bro. Dude, that's what's so cool, bro, is like. It's cool because you're like you're making your own new generation. You're like making your own new traditions. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like no one says you have to be just exactly like the people you raised you. Like every time someone's born, they're meant to level the bar. Oh. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you said, your grandpa took you to Epcot. I'm going to take my kids to Disneyland. And hopefully my kids become successful. They could take their kids to uh, Disney World for like a whole week. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like you just keep leveling up. That's how the world's going to keep moving, you know? Mm -hmm. 
Like a lot of people are afraid to have kids. A lot of people are nervous. Like the world is so messed up. The world, it's useless. Like I don't want to raise kids in this. But it's like, dude, if you want to make the world better, why not raise like a kid who can be a leader and be, yeah. go against the grain, you know? Like me, I'm a believer in God. Like teach a kid how to be like God. Teach a kid how to how to be genuine, be nice, be forgiving. Yeah. That's what the world needs. Yeah, it's good so people. like, don't you want to like put that into the world? Leave that behind? Yeah. And it's like, it's, it's, I mean, I don't have kids, so I don't like, I want kids, but like, it's hard for me to talk about it that much. Cause I don't have them, but yeah. how old are you? Uh, 31. Oh yeah. You, you still got time. Though. <laughs> you still got time. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean like you, it's a whole different kind of love that you didn't even know that you can feel for someone until you have a kid. Yeah. Like, so you're saying earlier, uh, how many I got, I got two. That's cool. Um, when I had my daughter, that was a whole different kind of love. You Younger know? or older? Uh, she's she's eight, and then my son uh, just turned three in July. Cool. Yeah. Dang. So it's it's a whole different type of love, and it was a, a whole better reason to get home from work every day. Yeah. You know, like, I'd be driving home and be like, oh, shit, I have a, I have a baby to go home to. Heck like, I have, yeah. like, a little part of me at home, you know? It just, it just like, I felt like, a, like I was living, but you ain't living until, like, you have that type of love and... um. Just like you get to care for that type of thing, yeah. Not thing, but well, dude, you know that's I mean? part it's of that's part of maturing being a, being in a life. Father, you know, yeah. You like you get to a certain point where you stop living for yourself. Like you realize yeah. that if you just live for yourself, like there's a roof that you hit, mm -hmm. and you're just like not satisfied. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then once you once you have a kid or something like that, like it just like you said, it opens a whole new door of love, and being able to teach someone and like, mm -hmm. you know. Because a lot of people are like, I don't want kids. I want, you know, I want a new car. Like, why would you get a kid? Like, that kid. But it's like, dude. <laughs> you can get both. Yeah. But you work hard. Shit. You can get anything. Dude, like, once you have the car and you're sitting in it, it's like, that's sick. But, like, that, that only lasts for a day, bro. Like, every day you get off work, you get to go home to your daughter. Yeah. It's so nice. You, you know, she comes home, day. hugs you, loves you. Mm -hmm. And it's a part of you, too. Yeah. That's like, it's honestly a trip, bro. Like, if it's, like, mind-blowing that you can, like, connect with another human being. And then make an imprint that's like half of both of you. Yeah. It's crazy. And like, so it's saying, like it's so crazy. A lot of people don't think of it like that. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's a part of you. It's like a DNA that's just going on. Mm -hmm. Like there's a little bit of Zilla that's going to keep going on through the world. Yeah. It's crazy. I see like so much of my son, like boys are so different from girls. So my, my boy is just rowdy. And my daughter was like prissy and yeah. like girly, you know, but, but, uh, yeah, it's it's just so different. Like I rough out rough house with him. Like he he just copies my every move. Bro. Yeah, I just see so much of myself in both of them. My daughter's a great artist, so she's doing stuff I was doing when I was the same age. So it's just it's just cool. Like you know, I got I got two of the best kids ever. So it's just crazy seeing them advance and seeing what they get interested in. Yeah, and, you know, like you said, just me reliving everything all over again, showing them everything. That yeah, I grow. No, it's like no. a chance to get to raise yourself again, almost yeah, in a way. Kind of, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like it's like it's like a different version of you. That you're like, I'm gonna give you everything that I kind of wanted, yep, exactly. or everything that I think I deserved. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. That's sick, bro. Yeah. That's cool. We hitting Disney again next year. Hey, pray! Shout out to <laughs> Disney, bro. Sponsored by Disney. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yo, but you guys be robbing us. <laughs> yeah, that. Yo, part. I don't know about that genie pass, bro. That part, yeah. You're happy when you're there, but that ride home is a bitch. So <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> Dude, did you guys drive there or fly there? We drove. Oh, that yeah. drive is pretty rough, huh? We got some friends in Vegas. Oh, so you can stop halfway? Okay, yeah. that makes it worth it. Yeah, it was it was chilling, yeah. Was, Heck cool. yeah, dude. And we missed them too, so it worked out. That's sick, dude. Dude, Vegas, you gotta be careful. You gotta uh, get in and out. I love Vegas though, man. I would I would move there. Me and my wife <laughs> can talk about moving there. <laughs> so i went to vegas one time for a week it was like from a saturday to a saturday mm -hmm. dude <laughs> if i wasn't 21 i would have not survived that oh yeah by the fourth day dude you're like over it yeah <laughs> i tur i just turned 21 i went to edc uh, but we planned a whole week so we we're like going to the clubs watching all the djs mm -hmm. and then went to edc and then went i was like if I, I can't even think about that now, like gives me anxiety. At least you got it out though. Yeah, I got it out, dude. It's fun. Shout out to EDC 2014. <laughs> <laughs> we uh we went uh two years ago. We went to Vegas two years ago to EDC. 
And it was dope. It's sick, bro. It's and fun. even now with the drone stuff. Yeah, it was cool. They've been stepping up their production like crazy. Yeah. Like I've been watching like Instagram reels. Like, dude, if you haven't been to EDC or a big festival, you got to go at least once. Oh, yeah. No matter where Absolutely. you're at in life, you're never too old. Oh, there's 60 year olds walking around. Yeah. There. There's dude, old people there. Like, super old. Old base heads. Yeah. No? <laughs> and it's like, it's like inspiring to me, like yeah. whenever those people show up. Cause I'm like, dude. You can't put an age limit on yeah. what you like. Yeah, it ain't it's, over. It, like, it if ain't. you didn't, I mean, if you put an age limit on something that you liked, then you never really liked it. There shouldn't yeah. be like a, oh, I'm expired of this rap part of my life. It's like, that's yeah. always going to be with you. Yeah, I know. Like, and yeah, like, <laughs> I remember my mom, like she had told one of my girlfriends back in the day. She's like, it's just a phase he's in. It's just a phase. I'm like, I right now, even I couldn't see myself getting being an old man and not just being who i am yeah like um i mean you get old and over stuff yeah but i mean if it's really a part of you it ain't never gonna go away right and the artist in me ain't never gonna go away yeah and dude like the generation before us like our parents like they lived in a life before internet they lived in like you know what i mean so it's like it's different for them it's almost like we got to teach them like there's a different way of life yeah than just the nine like you know what i mean like, most people have a nine to five, but, like, there's other routes you could take in life and still be successful. Yeah. You know? It's more people are following their passion now than ever. You know, it's it's just about it's about taking that risk. And a lot of people ain't risk takers, man. They like to play safe, which is cool, too. But, I mean, no risk, no reward. Yeah. The more that I play it safe, the more anxiety I get. It's almost like I have to put myself in a box to figure out how to get out. You know what I mean? Like, it's, like, fun. I appreciate that challenge. Like, I, like, want to know, like, dang, I just took yep. this step. Like, what's going to happen? But I, let's do it, you know? Yeah. I feel you. And that, that's, that's, like, growing pains to me. And then yeah. if you fail, then you just go back and reflect. Okay, why did I fail? What did I do wrong? Yep. And then you just learn from that. That was that was me doing rap the past 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing what, what was wrong and what didn't work and now what does work and what's going to continue to work. And yeah. You know, that's that's what it's about. That's you know? sick. But if you love it, like I said, if you love it, it ain't going away. Heck, yeah. Do you have, like, other local artists that you kind of click with or anything like that? Or are you kind of just independent, just stay on your own? Like, what's the vibe, like, in New Mexico? I I rock with everybody, man. I, I don't think there's one person out here that I really got any issues with or that I don't vibe with. You yeah. Know? Like, um, just because I'm, 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 I'm a good guy, you know, uh, until I'm not, you know. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, with every interaction I had, you know, it's it's just um, that first meeting. You know what I mean? You just have a good feel for people. And yeah. People always have a good feel for me. So for sure. Everyone always rocks with me. But, That's cool. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, I rock with a lot of people out here. Crown. Crown's dope. Um, Draymond's doing big things. Um, my boy Jammers just put out some new music. Jammers? Yeah. Jammers, the Southwestern. Heck yeah. Talks You're going to have to give me these guys IGs, yeah, bro. I'm, sure. I'm, I want to meet a lot of different rappers. Yeah, for sure. I'm like, I'm like on a, a rapper kick, EDM kick, and uh, UFC oh, yeah. or fighting. I'm a huge fight head. Yeah. So I've had the bare knuckle champ on this show. I had oh, the shit. featherweight bare knuckle champ, uh, Kai Stewart. Oh, so I'm like a big, big fight fan. But like, I just like stick with what I like love. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And like rappers going to your show, bro. Like that, that was so sick. That was a dope show. It was a Everybody sick show. Killed it, bro. Dude, everyone's jo- dude. I like. I was. We were all sitting on a table, and like halfway through your set, we were just like, "Make him back!" Da-. <laughs> Is that song called Robbie Rob Zombie? Rob or, Zombie, dude. Yeah. I was gonna tell you this. Rob Zombie is one of my favorite artists of all time. Yeah, me too. Like he's That's he's why I, so cool. I did that one. I just is that really. I, just, I had that one. That little was like bar an homage to. I had that one little bar in there. And I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna call it Rob Heck Zombie and put yeah. it with the X." That's the sick, name dude. Him, and then know? the remix too. Yeah, yeah, the uh, the whole um, Heaven's Gates. Yeah, that, we that remix there. goes yeah, hard because you have that remix of the top of your album. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, dude. that one, that one's got the Heaven Gates. That's a Heaven Gates edition, and then so is uh, Gothica. That one's got a little clip from there too. So that's sick, dude. Like Rob Zombie, like we've been talking this whole podcast about like creative people who just do what they want, no matter how weird it is, dude. Rob Zombie makes movies. He makes music. Yeah. He's always like, he's just he's like a kid. Like you, like we were just talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. He's like, this would be sick if we do this Halloween thing and do like, yeah. 
Like when you hear him, like I don't know if you've seen the Joe Rogan podcast with Rob Zombie, mm-hmm. but like they, like you get to go into the mind of Rob Zombie, and just see like how he thinks and what what inspired what and House of a Thousand Corpses and mm-hmm. all these cool like you check that out. Yeah, dude, check it out. It's so cool because he he's kind of just like a. So he grew up like in a circus, like his mom and dad like worked for like this traveling circus. Yeah, so he was, sense. so okay. he was always around like these grungy, like weirdly painted, like yeah. clowns and like redneck, like weird stuff. So like, that's like what inspired some of his like rough earlier movies. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, that, uh, like house of the thousand corpses, that clown. Yeah. Like all just, his stuff is cohesive. You yeah. Know? He's a big horror head. You know? Yeah. 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 So he's like a big horror head yeah. and then his music, like, everything you know? yeah everything that's everything. so sick bro that's so <laughs> sick like dude like the fact that you that like we're connected even in that way that's so dope because i i can kind of even get a glimpse of like how you think you know what i mean mm-hmm. like when you see a true creative like like real recognizes real yeah and, like there's certain artists that you could just that just pop out in your head yeah, and you're a rapper right. it's so crazy you know what yeah, i mean it's weird yeah <laughs> even not, even now like i listen to more stuff than rap now like i get inspired from other stuff to make what i'm doing now and that's how the rob zombie track kind of came out like i've never done like a scream on a chorus or nothing like that you know and i did it and i was like man that shit's hard and then i started showing other people and i listened to it so much i was just kind of like i was still feeling it but once i started seeing the reaction i was like yeah this let's is go one. but i just i hope that uh I don't get put in a box with like that type of artist that people are going to expect that every time. Cause if someone likes that style and they hear my next project and I'm not screaming on it, I probably yeah. will be on one or two, but you know, they're, they're going to, but that's just, you not bit, catering you know to the masses. I mean? Oh you know? yeah. No, no, I don't care if I lose a fan. Yeah. You know, they're going to come. They're, they're going to go. Fan, Dude, like we were just like putting our artists in the room, like Mac Miller, each our each album sounds so different. Mm-hmm. Like there's an experimental album faces. There's like, Another one where it's all lovey dovey, like there's you know Blue Side Park evolution. That, it, but you're like almost even training your audience. Like, look, there's like you're helping them broaden their their scope yeah. of like listening. Mm-hmm. You know, I want them to grow with me. Yeah, you know, you as want as them I to grow, grow with yeah. you as I do different stuff. You know, like if I'm an artist to somebody, like I know Kanye does stupid shit, but I'm probably forever be a fan of him. Yeah. You know, just. The music he's made in the past and yeah. everything, you know. So, dude, even now, like artist that you, yeah, you know, like Gold, Vultures was all right, yeah. But it's like I'm gonna still check out his next project yeah. and the next one after that, you yeah. know. And like I can separate the artists from the the dumb antics that they do, and yeah. Stuff, you know, for sure, that's hard for a lot of people to do, yeah. But I, I just like just the creation aspect of it and like, um, just the way that they leak all his music, yeah. like all his unreleased stuff. It's mm-hmm. like it's never ending, bro. Yeah, it's, it's never ending. Never ending. It's like yeah, every day there's like some songs new pops up. just like, bro, it's dude. Crazy. And even like I just always think of like, cause you always think of like we're just talking about like full creative control, like doing something so out of the box that like you don't even know if your fans are gonna like it or not. But like the Yeezus album, like yeah. everyone was like, dude, what the heck is this, bro? <laughs> He's dropping all these robot sounds like this, uh, and then he just did a live show in China dropping like some of his songs from Jesus mm-hmm. and it went so hard bro crazy. like the crowd went nuts went crazy. on site have you seen uh have you seen on the, site. the Jesus movie no i haven't no they they did a they shot like the Jesus tour but um they filmed it kind of like it was a movie they did the same thing with the watch the throne oh okay okay but um his stage setup and just everything he had was so crazy yeah, bro. i feel like, like everything is so thought out you know, yeah, you know what i mean it is like everyone thinks like, oh, what is he doing? Like, why is he doing push ups and the you know? But now we're looking back years later and Kanye just standing, even him getting lifted up in the whole crowd, like in the sky. Mm-hmm. Like everything is so thought out, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's so cool because like, dude, like who's stopping you? You could do whatever you want. Yeah. You know? Whatever you could think of can happen. It's all about like matching your your ambitions with your work ethic. Mm-hmm. So you know, so if both those align and you really want to make it happen, it'll happen. Yep. You know? Sure. It's like, dedication. It's dedication, it bro. It doesn't matter like, if you went to school. It doesn't matter how many kids you have. Like, don't let nothing stop you. God's got your back. Yeah. So you got this, bro. So what's your uh, Instagram handle, bro? At Zilla. At Zilla Bones with the X. Uh, X-I-L-L-A-B-O-N-E-S. Heck yeah. Um, Anywhere. Facebook. 
Twitter, Spotify. That's that's where you're gonna find me at. Heck yeah, dude. Honestly, it was a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you. I bro. think we, what do we say? Eighty three, something like 83 that. Or like 83. 84. Go <laughs> go check out the other eighty two. This is eighty three. Go check out the other eighty two. <laughs> yeah. And if it's eighty four, check out the eighty two. There you go, dude. Honestly, it was a pleasure having you. you we had too, a good bro. time. I can't wait to go to your next show. Oh, dog. It's I gonna appreciate be you. crazy, bro. We got, We're gonna. Uh, we got one. Uh, I'm gonna cut you off. We got one October twelfth. Uh, uh, better sense. Uh, at a, I think real real Bravo Brewing. No way. Yeah, October twelfth. Heck yeah, uh, I love real Bravo. It's uh called Better Bops. It's like a music series that they do. Uh, shout out to them. So we're gonna drop this episode within the next day or two. You guys okay. all gotta go next Friday. All right, next, I'll put it on my story. Next if you send Friday, me the poster. Next Saturday, one of them. Let's go, yeah. baby. Yep. Episode eighty three. We got Zilla Bones, Joshua, or Josh. Either or. Joshua. What about you? I'm Joshua. Joshua. Yeah. yeah. Now that I got older, I tell people Joshua. And Heck they still yeah. Me I don't know what's happening with my soundboard. Love you, brother. You too, bro. Appreciate you. Shout out to Josh.